Hi everyone, please open your book page 52 and day 5. There is a reading part and I will read this part for you and you will listen it, okay? That gets it right, finally. Day 5 of the Italian adventure and we were in Naples. We arrived here early yesterday morning. But as usual, we were only at the hotel for about five minutes before they wanted to take us somewhere. This time, it was the ancient city of Pompeii near Naples. I didn't really want to go. I wanted to go shopping for shoes. We traveled there by train. The journey didn't take long, but long enough for that to tell us a bit about the story. Many years ago, Pompeii was a large Italian city near a volcano called, called Mount Vesuvius. Then, on 24 August 79 CA, the volcano erupted and completely covered the city in ash. It killed about 20,000 people. But the ash didn't destroy the buildings. And now, 3,000 years later, you can walk around the city and see how people lived all those years ago. 2,000 year old houses, thanks, that really boring. I thought it was, but I was wrong. The houses were very interesting. Most of them were really big with lots of rooms. So, lots of space to get away from annoying poor brothers or sisters. There were paintings and mosaics all over the walls. I would love a Roman mosaics of one direction on my bedroom wall. Also, I was amazed at the bedrooms. I would love a big bathroom in our house. Ours is so small. I got really interested in Pompeii. It wasn't bored at all. In fact, I have got lots of ideas for our house when I get home. Yes, you can listen it. And there is a complete sentences with the word and number. Word or number. Mod Vesuvius a real Volcano, yes. I hope it doesn't erupt. The paintings and... Excuse me a second. More than 20,000 people died here. All of them covered in ash. Three. The paintings and mosaics are really beautiful. The houses in the ancient city are more than... 2,000 years old. You can write on your book. And we can look here. No. Okay, you can look. Look at here. Where is Jenny's family staying at the moment? <coughs> Excuse me. Look at here, the first question. Where is Jenny's family staying at the moment? They are staying in Naples, Italy. Yes, you can write on your book. How did they go to Pompeii? How? How did they travel by train, of course? Three. What did Jenny's dad tell, tell them about on the way there? What? He told them about the story of Pompeii. For when did when, when did Vesuvius erupt? Twenty four August seventy nine CA. Five. What did Jenny like about the Pompeii houses? What? She liked that they were big with lots of rooms. She liked the paintings and mosaics on the walls and she loved the bathrooms. 
six. What was Jenny's overall opinion of Pompeii? What? She thought it was really interesting. Yes. It was really interesting. And you can stop this video and you can write all the answers of these questions. Okay? Now there is a grammar part again. Single past negative. The first question. Complete sentences from Jenny's blog. Look at the blog to help you. For example, I... Yes. Negative one. I didn't really want to go. I didn't. We, we did. We use verb one. It's important. The journey didn't take long. Yes. The ash didn't destroy the buildings. Look at here. It's important. When we use with the negative didn't, we use verb one. Verb one is important. Here are some more things Jenny wrote about Pompeii. Make them negative. Look at the rule to help you. We will use the negative one. Okay, for example, we visited all of the houses. We didn't visit all of the houses. Look at here. With the positive one, we use verb two, but the with the negative one, we use verb one. I wanted to go home. I didn't want to go home because with it, we use verb one. The poor people lived in epic houses. The poor people didn't live in epic house. That didn't order a pizza for lunch. It didn't rain in the afternoon. Simple past tense. They are simple pastas. Look at here. Annoyed, relaxed, bored, interested, amazed. The first picture, amazed, yes. Second, interested. Three, relaxed. Four, bored. And five, annoyed. Yes, you can write on your book. For example, what did Jenny say about Pompeii? Complete the sentences with interested or interesting. I got really interested, of course, in Pompeii. The houses were very interesting. Look at here. I get annoyed when people ignore me. Yes. This painting was brilliant. I was amazed. Bob talks about football all the time. He's really boring. A hot shower is always very relaxing. I think Matt is really interesting of course and i think it's enough for this lesson see you the next lesson bye bye